built up at Highland. And it's a, a Hug Road Builder. The Hug Company had started building trucks at Highland in 1922. Um, the Hug was the first truck built especially for highway construction. Uh, it has a four-cylinder booty engine. It has an I-beam structural membered frame. And it has a Fuller and Son transmission, three speed. Top speed was claimed to be 45. Uh, of course, it hauled wet concrete uh, from a central mixing plant to the job site. Uh, in 1918, Illinois passed a $60 million bond issue for paving the major highways in Illinois. This truck was developed on one of them that run from east to west, which was the old National Trail. C.J. Hug of Highland, Illinois was a building contractor and he had Model T Fords and Sampsons and they just didn't hold up for hauling the wet concrete over the subgrade. And he built one truck in the winter of 1919 from pieces very similar to this truck. Um, he used it one season and he built eight more and used them the next season and finished his contracts. And by that time, there was a, quite a lot of other contractors doing paving work in Illinois. And there just wasn't any trucks made that was speedy and rugged. And he started building trucks in 1922 for sale to the public. And uh, over a 20 year period, it built about a little more than 4,000 trucks, most all of construction type, quarry type trucks. And then the last year was 1942, and he was down to just less than 100 trucks the latter couple of years. This particular truck was sold to Henry Barron's and Son in 1922. It's the 42nd one that Hug built. I'm very interested in antique vehicles, and uh, I got very interested in local built vehicles in my area. And being second generation uh, highway engineering work, uh, my pop with the Illinois State Highway Department for 40 years, starting in 1919. And the first job my pop was the resident engineer on, C.J. Hug was a contractor before he built trucks. And uh, then later, as the trucks made it to all the local contractors, the ones in the area, well, my dad was around the jobs where the trucks worked, and I'd always heard about Hug trucks. And uh, being a interested in local built things this was the closest built to my home and with the connections I got come very interested in the history and I think I have the oldest existing truck this has got a 37 horsepower four cylinder booty engine it's got this side it has the water pump and it's got American Bosch Magneto uh, leather fan belt uh, it's got a Perfex radiator, and uh, it's got raw steering. It's got Adlex side lights that were all as original equipment on the truck. This is the carburetor side. It has a couple of features that's interesting. It's got a Zenith carburetor. It's got a handy governor. This is a oil filter unit made by Perlator, and it's very early in the industry. Uh, these trucks were operated in very, very dusty, dirty conditions, and uh, keeping the oil clean and the air clean was very important for the life of the engine. C.J. Hug was very interested in making his trucks last. It has a very interesting air filter, which is Bennett, and it's also very early in the industry. The gravity 
dump bed is very interesting. It was built to dump without any power otherwise than the <clears throat> the way the load was loaded over the pivot point. And just pulling the handle when the bed is loaded, the bed dumped automatically on a kind of a roller system. And uh, it was very reasonable and uh, very quick to get the concrete out, wet concrete. But you certainly couldn't be uphill, backing uphill any, to, and it didn't dump, <laughs> which they found out very quickly. dumped it right from the seat, but if it was full, why, all you did was just pull the handle and it automatically dumped. We have to like that. This vehicle supports a, a Hug Wisconsin rear end. Uh, it's a special built rear end, double reduction, and the Hug Company and Wisconsin Axle Company went together to build this design. The uh, pumpkin is one piece casting, very heavy. Also, it's got the cross spring in the rear for help because the rear springs are only half. Because the length of the bed, to keep the load far enough forward and be able to dump it with a gravity dump system, you cannot have the frame running out to, to have the full springs on it. So he went to a cross spring, which I first saw on the early model Cadillacs cars. But uh, this was strictly his own idea as far as how he assembled it. It has a special casting on the back that holds the spring. Uh, the rear end is pretty low geared, but uh, with a double reduction, it keeps the size of the ring gear small enough that you've got still got good clearance underneath the rear end. This has got original set of Goodyear diamond thread tires on it that were made in the 30s. It's probably run oh, probably run a thousand miles or more on these old tires. They were new old stock when they were installed on the truck. And uh, 345 is the first truck size air tire that was produced. Put the choke down about halfway, turn the ignition key on, which is just the kill switch on the magneto. 